Good morning class. It's a holiday but I feel the obligation to create a video for individual output of three eyes research. Okay, so this video is created for the individual output not for the group output. There are going to be several changes. So I need you to listen well and watch this. This is just a short video but you have to watch it over and over. So in a backdraft, it says three eyes, fourth quarter, option one only. This is going to happen with the rolling wheat. By yours truly. On the next slide, you can see here the link. You're going to pass, since you're going to pass weekly, soft copy, this is the same link as of, as like third grading. Okay. Next slide. And here is the concept paper. February 7, it's uploaded. But here's something new. Meron akong in-upload kanina, April 14. Yun yung bago, nakalagay revision. Yun ang gagamitin, hindi ito. Ah. So, kung dati na-download nyo to, kaya pinapakita ko to, ang gagamitin ninyo ay yun. Alin? Yun, meron word na revision, yun na-upload April 14 kanina. Yun ang template kasi may bago siyang requirement. Okay? So, meron kayong template option 1. Again, I repeat. Listen. Hindi na kayo sasagot ng ibang modules. Option 1. Wala ng module. Tapos na yung lectures. Discussion. Ang sasagutin nyo lang for fourth grading, ito. Kaya pagbutihin ninyo. Okay? At yung bagong version ang gagamitin. Clear yan, ha? Clear. Ito yung isa pang update. Meron ng deadlines. Dati wala yan, noong video 131. Okay, I repeat. Ito na yung deadline ng option 1. Option 2, you use that video 131 is the same deadline. So, option 1, ito siya. So, meron apat na laman yung concept paper. Yan yung deadline. Nakikita nyo yung first part introduction, you will complete that within 2 weeks. So, meron kayong time mag-isip. Ang deadline, April 29. Upload sa drives of copy. Problem description, you have 2 weeks to complete or more. Kasi election yan, almost 1 month. Ang deadline yan, May 27. Pag in-upload nyo yan, kasama na yung introduction and problem description. Okay? Okay, hindi kulang, kompleto na, 1 and 2. Statement of the problem, June 3. So, tatlo na yung laman yan. Introduction, problem, description, statement of the project objective pa na. Hindi problem. So, June 3, tatlo na yung laman yan. Upload sa drive. Don't forget to label them properly and put the right name. Okay? And so on and so forth. Yun ang mga deadlines. You're gonna complete it on, on June 17. Kompleto na yan. From part 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? At meron kayong defense interview between June 20 to 24. Schedule ko kayo. Mga individual lang ito ha. Hindi pa kasama yung groupings defense. And submission of printed copy. Ipiprint nyo yan. The deadline will be June 27. Okay? So you have the liberty to complete this force four uh, categories in the concept paper within those time frame. Clear? Deadlines. Particular to. Every time you pass late, there is always a deduction. And graduation, June 4 to 9. Mahala na. Kailangan taposin nyo to. Kung hindi, walang graduation. Next. Ito yung laman niya. Module 1, individual. Again. Output concept paper. Again, wala nang ibang module na sasagutin. Ito lang ang gagawin mo, maliwanag. So, before going through the concept paper, you have to understand four things. Review, analyze, gawin scratch paper. Kagawa ka ng brainstorming. Okay? You think of a problem na kailangan mong lutasan. Review ang mission and vision ng DEPET. Anong definition yan? Okay? Understand how to solve the problem you thought about. Isang problema lang, ha? You're gonna solve a problem. You're gonna create a concept paper, a solution paper. You think on how you can, how you understand the problem. 
And then, what are the benefits in solving the problem? So, isulat mo sa scratch muna yan. Keywords. Keywords. Tapos, mag-proceed ka na. After doing some research, mag-proceed ka na sa concept paper. Ito siya. Okay? So, meron ka ng guide sa isip mo kung anong laman. Kailangan ni-review yan. Huwag ka maghula-hula. Kasi this is just one output and it will determine if you will pass or fail. Okay? Now, here you put name, your name. Kikita niya sa background. You put your name. And then the rest, same lang. Ayan, 300 words na to. Introduction. Okay? 300 words. Anong introduction? About the mission vision at yung problema, paano na-apekto yung mission and vision. 300 words minimum. So, pwedeng 300 above. Number two and number three, part, problem description. Not less than 100 words yung apat na yan. Sasagutin nyo lahat yung apat na yan. Not less, less than 100 words. Pwedeng higit. Okay? Simple questions lang. What is the problem? Anong naisip mong problema? Ito. Diba yung preparation kanina? And kailan nangyayari itong problema na to? Okay? Uh, saan nangyayari ito? Okay? At sinong apektado dito? Halimbawa, ang problema mo, baon ng mga grilly student. Yun ang problem. So, not less than 100 words. Define mo yun. Bakit baon? And then, saan nangyayari itong problema na to? Sa school, sa buhay ng student. Define mo yan. yan. And then, where does this happen particularly? When does it happen? During school year? When eh? Panahon. Where? Is it at school, at home, or problems at home? And sinong apektado? Dep An example natin ay students. So define the students, people who are like this. Age group, financial. Sagutin mo lang yan, bawat question, 100 words. Pagkulang yan, at isa lang sinagot mo, may deduction yan. Okay? We'll follow the same rubrics. Statement of, of the problem is 200 words. So, ano talaga yung kabuuan? I mean, project objective. Sorry, not problem. I isip ko yung isa. Save it the project objective. Paano mo isa-solve ito? 200 words. Paano mo isa-solve ito? 200 words. Okay? And yung last part. Ang dali, no? This is 300 words each. Each. 300 words each. <laughs> each. Okay? So, sasagutin mo lang yung mga questions na yun. Sinong nakikinabang pag nalutas mo itong problema na isip mo? Nasulat mo kanina. Okay? Anong pak pakinabang? Sino? Ano? Okay, at paano ito makakatulong sa mission, vision ng Bethel? At lagay mo ulit yung pangalan mo and tapos na. Okay? Ganun lang siya. Kaya lang yung word requirement at sinasagot lahat. Imagine nyo lang ang gagawin for the next 8 weeks for grading starting Monday. Okay, do not forget, importante ito, huwag nang tanong ng tanong. Pag may nagtanong, sasabihin ko, you watch the video. Upload the concept paper on the link drive pinakita ko kanina. Rename it. Lagyan ng pangalan sa loob, sa labas. Follow that format. Yung pinakita ko, naka-upload sa page. Follow the word requirement. 300, 100 words, ano man yan. You follow that. Meet the weekly deadlines, di ba? Mayroon deadline sa side. Follow that. Upload that before 5 p.m. always. That's a Friday. And at the end of the deadline, uh, you have to print a copy at the end of the defense. Yun lang. Tapos na ang fourth grading. It's that easy. Okay, so I hope yung mga bumagsak third grading at mga gawa ng individual na mababahis ko, you can now complete this. It's very easy. Just have to spend time thinking. Level up ito. Kailangan kasi graduating kayo. Okay? So, but for, this is for individual work, option one. For option two, just watch a 131 video and that's it. Same then. Have a nice day. God bless. Happy holidays. Ay, hindi. Holy week. <laughs> Bye. Hindi ako mabangis, no? Gusto ko lang ma-improve kayo class. No bitterness, no hard feelings. Siyempre gusto ko kayong matuto. Okay? Have a nice day. Bye.